Hi, welcome back to Bees Aquatics, and today I'm going to be making that uh, terrarium, desert terrarium thing, uh, which is a bunch of plants, and it's going to look really cool. So uh, here's the tank behind me. Uh, this is that old crab tank. I took the rim off and everything, and now it's like a nice, really cool rimless tank. Um, pretty big. And then I got a bunch of plants right here, some cactus, cactuses, and just a bunch of smaller stuff right here. And this is a mix of stuff, so I might separate it, or I might put it all as one in there. But what I'm gonna do is put some gravel at the bottom of this for, um, so the water can go into, so I don't overwater the stuff. That's some soil, and then I'll put some sand over top, just so it looks like a desert instead of soil. Um, so yeah, let's get right into that. I'll put the gravel in. So I got the gravel in, doesn't look good because it's a bunch of colors, uh, but you won't see that when it's done. Um, and so now I'm gonna go get the dirt in and like, scape it how I want it. So I'll be back when I'm done with that. All right, so here it is with the dirt in it. I kind of have, you can see better from the top, but like two hills on the sides and then this kind of slopes upwards. The whole tank slopes upwards. Um, and then you can barely see the gravel now. Um, I can still probably hide it a bit better on this side. Um, so now I'm gonna plant it and then I'm gonna put the sand in after so I can get the, all the stuff into the soil instead of the sand. So with the reef tank, um, since I'm getting new lid, new everything basically. Uh, it's really messy right now. Uh, salt gets everywhere, don't know how. But I took the lights off there. So I'm getting new lid and new light for that. And put it on here. So it looks good. This is more off that way. But it lights up the tank great. Um, doesn't give them the plants anything. Uh, the sunlight still needs to do that, but it makes it look better. Alright, I finished with the tank and it looks really good. I'm turning the lights off so you can see the tank better. Um, but I'm gonna show you it right now. Um, and it looks super good. Turned out great, so I'm gonna show you it right now. Alright, here's the tank. Got the lights right there. And then right there with all the color and everything. Don't mind that stuff up top. I need to cover it up some way. Like all this grime just wouldn't come off. But like, it's showing up a lot more on camera. Um, if you're in it in person, you can't really see it as much. You can still see it. But then there's the top view. And it just looks great. I got the cactus right in the back corner. Um, another cactus down there. This is like the big centipede plant. It's some aloe, I think. Uh, this is one of my favorite plants as well. Uh, Cause it has little spikes on the end. It's cool. That's also a cool cactus right there. <clears throat> and um, so I got um, so there's one big plant I had that had like multiple small ones in there, and I had that one, and those two at the very front right there, that one, that one, and uh, this whole back area. So that one really helped fill it in a lot. But the rest I just bought. Um, I'm not gonna put sand because this just looks super good. Uh, and I love the way it turned out. So, yeah, there's that tank. Other than that, I'm thinking, like, the um, thing that's coming, that's coming, I think, uh, this should be shipped Wednesday. So, yeah, that one, and Mystery Animal, um, will be coming, and it will be going on here with five gallon, probably. But now that I like that so much, I kind of want to make a, put my 10 gallon up right here and make it like a tropical tank with like maybe like vines and moss everywhere um and i could do like a venus flytrap and stuff like that so that'd be a really cool tank too um and then i'll technically have all my tanks back again um so yeah that's that all right so thanks for watching and like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one goodbye